Hello guys, welcome to Kingdom New Lands. Many failed, this queen will do better. And when you start the game, you either get a king or a queen, and that's random. Uh, we head to the right here. Past the kingdom sign. And here's the ghost. It's pointing in this direction of where we need to found the kingdom. And if you start as a queen, the ghost will be a king. And vice versa. So it must have been someone who failed before us. And we pick up the gold coins here. And the ghost is the tutorial. Now it points over here. Hold down X to light a fire. And this is our main base. We just upgraded a little bit. And we throw down coins here to recruit these two vagrants. And now we hold down X to buy a bow here. They need a tool to uh, pick a class. The ghost points over here to buy a hammer. It's a different tool. That's cost free gold. And now the other vagrant that we recruited will run over here, pick up the hammer and become a builder. And the ghost wants us to build a wall here. Spend one coin on that. Build, expand, defend. Those are the directions. So it really is not a lot of direction you get in this game. You have to figure things out on your own. And that can make it hard to get started. So this video is just going to try and teach you uh, the basic mechanics. And that's all really. And this will be the border of a little kingdom when the builder runs over here and builds it up. And from the border, the archer will go out a certain distance and try and hunt rabbits and deer. And he already killed some and that's why he dropped some gold. So you can make some money off the land. Yeah, let's hire these two guys as well. There we go. They'll go back to our headquarters and we have to buy tools for them, for them to be of any use. So now he built this and we can upgrade it for free gold coins and that's a good idea to do in the beginning. Because at night time we might get attacked, it's a survival game. I think it's at day 5 there'll be a blood moon instead of a white moon coming over the horizon and then we'll get a bigger attack. And the guy coming back with the donkey is the tax collector. And at the beginning of the day, if you paid him, the previous day he'll drop gold coins for you. That's very important. And sometimes in the game, you won't have anything to do really, other than wait for gold. Or go out and try and drive some of the animals, especially the deer, towards your archers. You can do that if you stay on the left side of them and try and make them run towards your archers. To the right if you're hunting in the west. So now it's night time and you can see the white moon rising. If it was a red moon, it would mean a, an imminent large attack, but it's just a white moon, so they might still come, the monsters here at night, but the attack will not be that great. There's another coin over here. So let's just buy another bow. So we do have some... Uh, imminent attack over here so they try to steal your coins and if they hit your queen or your king she'll drop her crown and if the monsters pick up the crown you'll uh, lose the game so you see they destroyed a palisade over here so we have to build it up again now we are at day two and this guy will have gold for us and he'll drop it a tax collector and then we have to remember to pay him one gold coin so he goes out again if you don't you will not get uh, that extra coins at the beginning of the next day so always pay the tax collector don't forget it and we're going to build this up with three more coins because it didn't do too well before so you do have to keep your borders fairly secure at all times because it will cost you money if the monsters get in and destroy your stuff and another little trick is that if your horse is out of stamina, you can stand still where there's grass and it'll eat grass and get the stamina back quicker, so you can keep running. So let's head out here and uh, we'll uh, hire this guy as well. It's important to always uh, keep the recruits coming in. And this guy. You can chop down these trees and you'll get your money back once they've been chopped down. So let's just expand our kingdom here. That'll be the new border for a kingdom right there. And we'll upgrade our main tent here. And that's the HQ. It's also the technology tree that you upgrade. 
But to go from uh, wood walls to stone walls, you have to go out and discover in the forest a shrine that you need to uh, spend some coins on. So let's build this up for free coins. So you finished building an archer perch there to defend that wall a little bit better. And we have our tax collector back, so we'll get some money when the day begins again. I will build some more bowmen here. And wait to see if we get attacked or not. So here's the attack, the scary boogeyman. Oh, they were taking out. No problem at all. So we can see the flag here. That's where our kingdom ends, in this direction. And on these little uh, waterfalls, you can build a farm. But you also have to make sure that it's defended, or the monsters will come and eat your farmers. And that'll be bad. But farms are very important, so now we got some more gold from our tax collector. We'll remember to pay him again, so he goes out. I will build this. I believe it's where we buy farmer's tools, and that's very important. Because we do need to get a farm up and running fairly quickly, because that can generate coins for us without having to go out and hunt. That means that we would want to expand past these trees here, probably. So we can encompass a farm in our walls, and that's the first thing you really want to do is get a farm to get some some gold rolling in. And as they cut down the trees, you'll get your coin back. So we got rid of all of these trees, but we can't make it over here yet. So first we'll build up this. And then we'll upgrade the technology tree here. So we get a palisade up and running. And now we've got our farmer's tools here. So we can hire a farmer, but first we need a farm. And I'm going to try and build it over here, there's a tax collector coming back, right here, but we need to get walls up around it, when we build it, so we'll put up a wall here, and then we'll uh, increase the, the size of this wall, and try to build a farm here, and try to get farmers, and that'll get a coin collection going, without having to rely on killing rabbits, and deer out in the forest with the archers. Just want to see if anyone else collected anything over here. Doesn't really look like it. So here's a deer. We can try to drive it towards our archers. A deer is worth three gold. Yeah, he did shoot at it, but yeah, it went back the other direction. So let's not follow it into the forest. And try and do the same thing with this deer here. Uh, he did hit it. So if you run ahead of it, ah, that's a ship by the way. But if you run ahead of the deer, it'll double back, so you can try and drive it towards your archers again. Oh, he missed it, <laughs> but there, there we go, now it died. So that's a way you can help your archers hunt. So let's upgrade this. So we'll be building the farm right here. Just missing one goal to do that. It doesn't look like we're getting attacked tonight. I think we're nearing the first blood moon, but I think we'll be okay. So we have one idle guy there, I think we'll build a match out of him. So now we're at day four. So we have to go back and get our coins from the tax collector and pay him again to go out. There we go. So now he just left. I'm not. I don't know how long you keep getting those tax collecting coins. So let's build up a first farm here. Uh, we need to uh, hire someone and, and create a farmer. So we'll head into the woods and look for some vagrants that we can hire.
This is what we need to upgrade to stone walls, I think. But we don't have all of the money yet. Here's a chest of gold. I'll grab that and then we'll have the money. So we'll upgrade right away. That'll make us more safe when we get attacked. Yeah, there we go. So that's the stone shrine. I'm still looking for vagrants. Here they are. We'll hire these two guys and then we'll make it back in safety <laughs> behind our walls and try to create our first farm. So let's get this farm up and rolling. There we go. And then we just need to buy a farmer's tool over here. Ah, just missing one gold. So let's upgrade this. Ah, it's very overcast this day, but you can see it's a white moon, so we're not getting a blood moon this day. So that's good. So that should give us time to get a farmer for our farm. That's right here, and that'll start generating coins for us. So now we're on the fifth day, and I'm pretty sure that's the first day that we get a, a blood moon and get attacked with a larger force of monsters. We're just chasing this deer into a kingdom so we can get some coins. So we can buy a tool for a farmer. There we go. So we'll get this tool straight away. So now we have a farmer. And he'll make his way out to the farm. And you can hear the ominous music and it looks a little bit red in the distance. So this is the first red moon that we need to survive. Let's buy another bow here. So now the farmer has taken up his station and he'll start generating coin for us. And that's very important in the economy. So we don't have to rely on uh, killing deer and rabbits out in the forest. And there we have the blood moon in the background. So this will be the first large attack and we don't know from which side it will come from. Or if we have enough defenses up and running. I'm just hoping that they don't destroy the farm. So we have better defenses here. And here. But our farm is not that well protected out here. So we need that to survive. But it'll be very expensive. So now we're at day 6. So we survived. They might have come from the other direction. And not posed much of a problem. So our farmer is working the land there. And the tax collector has disappeared now, so I think uh, you're not going to get more help from him. I think now you have to rely on farms and killing rabbits and deer. But this will get you off to a good start in the game. And from here on, you build out your kingdom. And the game is all about planning what you build next and trial and error really, because they don't tell you much. So you have to discover stuff for yourself and you just try and survive for as long as you can. I hope this was helpful and if you already own the game, It'll automatically be upgraded to a Kingdom New Lands. And if you buy the game from Steam for the first time, it'll automatically be a Kingdom New Lands as well. And it's a great indie game and the pixel art is, as you can see, it's really excellent and it's very moody. It's a great atmosphere in the game. So pick it up, give it a spin if you think it looks interesting. Hopefully these few tips will get you started with the basic mechanics. And to get past day 5, thank you for watching and I'll catch you all next time.